Give me notes for section 8.5. Right, so we'll be solving equations with fractions now. Okay, so number one, x over five plus four equals five thirds. Whenever possible, I would get rid of the fraction. So I multiply both sides by 15, common denominator between the five and three, that cleans up the fraction. 15 times this, 15 times this, 15 times this. 15 divided by five is three, so three x plus 60 equals 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Now it's pretty straightforward. Subtract 60 on both sides. 3x equals negative 35. Divide by 3. x is negative 35 over 3. <clears throat> and number 5, um, 2, 4, and 6. So multiply both sides by 12. Get rid of the fractions. Okay. <clears throat> 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 y. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 y. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 y equals 36. And look at how much nicer the problem becomes. 11y is 36. Divide by 11y is 36 over 11. Okay. Whenever you have a variable denominator, you have to be careful that you don't divide by 0. So even before this problem starts, I can tell x equals 0 is not allowed in my answer because I'll be dividing by 0. I didn't have to worry about that for this one or this one because there was no variable in the denominator. But once you allow a variable in the denominator, you have to be sure that your solution is not, in this case, zero, whatever makes the denominator zero. Okay, then I'll multiply both sides by the common denominator, which is 3x. And here, x cancels, giving me 3. Here, 3 cancels, giving me x. Here, the whole thing cancels, giving me 2. So that's very easy. Add 2, x is 5. And 5 is okay. 13, once again, I'm not allowed to divide by 0, so I, I should throw out, throw out an answer of 0 if it happens to come out. And multiply both sides by x squared to clean up that, clean up that. x squared times 1. <coughs> x squared times negative 1 over x is negative x. Here, x squared cancels out, I get 12. Subtract 12 on both sides. Factor to x minus 4, x plus 3, which means either this is 0 or this is 0. What makes this 0? 4. It makes this 0, negative 3, and those are both okay because I'm not dividing by 0. 17, uh, this time x cannot be negative 1. Why? Because plugging in negative 1 to give me a 0 in the denominator. Okay, now I'll multiply both sides by x plus 1. That cancels out x plus 2. Take this fraction times x plus 1, I just have 1, and then 2 times x plus 1. This becomes 2x plus 2. Combine like terms on the right side, 2x plus 3. Subtract x on both sides, 2 equals x plus 3. Subtract 3, x is negative 1, but x equals negative 1 is not allowed. So that's actually not a solution, which means we will conclude by saying no solution. Nothing actually works. In 21, uh, x cannot be 0. We multiply both sides by x squared. 6x squared minus 5 equals 7x. 7x. Quadratic formula. A is 6, B is negative 7, C is negative 5. X is equal to negative B, negative, negative 7 is 7, plus or minus the square root of B squared, 49, minus 4 times A, which is 6, times C, which is negative 5. So you have a double negative right here and change to a positive. In scratch paper, this is 49 plus 4 times 6 times 5 is 120. That comes out to be 169. 2 times 6 is 12. Square root of 169 is exactly 13. 
So x is 7 minus 13, which is negative 6. Divide that by 12 is negative a half. x is 7 plus 13, which is 20. 20 divided by 12 reduces to 5 thirds. 25, before we start, we want to say x is not allowed to be 3 or negative 3. Right? Because that gives me 0 in the denominator. <coughs> Factor this into x plus 3, x minus 3, and now multiply both sides by x plus 3, x minus 3, which I ran out of space, so I wrote it kind of sideways here. But I'm multiplying everything by x plus 3, x minus 3. So I take these two and multiply by x minus 3. x minus 3 cancels out. I have 2 times x plus 3. Plus, here, uh, everything cancels out. just as x. Here, x plus 3 cancels out. I still have 4 times x minus 3. Okay, no more fractions. 2x plus 6 plus x, this is 4x minus 12. 3x plus 6 equals 4x minus 12. Subtract 3x on both sides. 6 equals x minus 12. Add 12. 18 equals x, or x equals 18. And we're good. If I plug back in 18, I'm not divided by 0. 29. <coughs> so <coughs> factor, that's t times t minus 3. This is t plus 3t minus 3. So my forbidden values are 0, negative 3, and positive 3, because if I plug in 0, negative 3, or positive 3, some denominator will be 0, right? 0 is not allowed because of that, 3 is not allowed because of that, and also that, and negative 3 is not allowed because of that. Okay, and once I have that, now multiply both sides with a common denominator, which is t times t plus 3, t minus 3. So t, t minus 3, t plus 3 on both sides. Cancel, 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 cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. So here I have t plus 3 times t minus 4. Here I have negative 2t. Boil this out. t squared minus t minus 12 equals negative 2t. Add 2t to both sides. This will be a 0. This changes to positive t. So it looks like this now. t squared plus t minus 12 equals 0. That factors into t plus 4, t minus 3 equals 0. So this gives me t is negative 4, or t is 3. T is 3, however, is one of my forbidden values, right? I'm not allowed to plug in 3 because I'll be divided by 0. So throw out the 3, and my only solution is negative 4. <coughs> and finally, 41, which is a hard one. So they give me all of this stuff. The first thing I got to do is factor. This factors into y minus 3, y minus 4. This one is y plus 3, y minus 3. This one is y minus 4, y plus 3. So. My forbidden value list here is negative 3, because if I plug in negative 3 here, you get 0. Positive 3, because if I plug in positive 3 here or here, I get 0. And 4 is not allowed because of that and that. Okay, so if I get any of these, then I have to throw them out. All right, the common denominator is y minus 3, y minus 4, y plus 3. You basically just write everything down. Um, and now I take these 3 times that, times that, and times that. So these three times this fraction, y minus 3 and y minus 4 cancel out. I have 2 times y plus 3. Minus 1 times y plus 3 and y minus 3 cancel. I still have y minus 4. Equals 4 times y minus 4 and y plus 3 cancel. I still have y minus 3. Okay, so you can see no more fractions. Distribute 2y plus 6 minus y plus 4 equals 4y minus 12. Gather like terms, 2y minus y is y, 6 and 4 make 10. Uh, subtract y on both sides, so 10 equals 3y minus 12. Add 12, 22 equals 3y, so y equals 22 over 3. 22 over 3 was not on my forbidden value list, so it looks like we're good over there. All right, so that'll do it for this section, which was section 8.5.